Welcome everyone. Now yesterday we were telling you that Crayon was going to make the big, uh, I guess, announcement. Yeah, it's a huge announcement and they actually ended up making it not today, but last night. Yes, so we were talking about them retiring a color. We'll tell you why it was made a little bit earlier, but they made the announcement. Here it is. I've been called a lot of things over the course of my career. A speaker of many languages, a seeker of things unseen, an accomplished traveler well-versed in culture and custom, a crayon who feels at home wherever he goes, an adventurer unparalleled and unafraid. But you can call me Dan D. Honestly, I'm just a regular crayon. I simply made it my mission to inspire creativity wherever I travel. Because with a little imagination, nothing is impossible. And sure, I've done big things, tracked down pirates' treasure, discovered lost temples, and tamed the world's most ferocious beasts. But I think retirement's going to be my wildest adventure yet. Why don't you join me? It'll be awesome! There wow. it is. Crayola announced dandelion yellow. Well, I hope retired. I get a retirement video like that when I retire. Jeez, and they were celebrating on Times Square for this also. And the fact is that they're going to announce the replacement in May. Yes, and so that we'll have to wait to see. We'll have to wait to see what it is. It's going to be a shade of blue. And, and they're asking for help. Yeah. They're asking people to help come up with names and stuff. So I think that's why we're stretching it out. Right. But the reason we said yesterday there's going to be a big announcement on Friday and everything and why that didn't happen and actually they tweeted it out yesterday instead mm -hmm. is because somebody tweeted a picture of one of the boxes of, of crayons yeah. that basically had already had Been on shipped it. shipped by accident. Yeah, that yeah. said Dandelion is, is retiring. Oops. So somebody kind of spoiled the surprise and they wanted to get ahead of it. So about two hours later they went, hey, let's just tweet it out. <laughs> It's called hey, damage hey. control, people. It's right. called spinning it. They're like, oh, it all happened on purpose. We wanted it to be announced the night before we said it would. Exactly. So we knew a little bit early. Dandelion, yeah. enjoy your retirement. <laughs> uh, you look like you're going to have tons of fun. Uh, but a shade of blue it, in May. Don't know the name yet. That looked like a Twinkie in that video. It did kind of look like a Twinkie in that video. So tomorrow, what's day, what day is tomorrow? Everybody remember that tomorrow is April Fool's <laughs> April Day. April Fool's Day, and everybody on the internet's obviously buzzing about what's going to happen. And right. every year they release articles like, these are the cool little things yeah. you can do for April Fool's to your kids. So we have a set of pictures, actually, mm -hmm. of these tricks that you can play on your kids. This first one is actually jelly beans in the ice dispenser. I guess it's not just kids, it's anyone in your household. But when they go to get ice... Oh, it's jelly beans. Guess what? That's my dream right there. <laughs> Je jelly bean dispenser? <laughs> yes, the jelly beans come out of my ice dispenser. Now, the next one I thought was really clever. Now, if you take a bar of soap and you cover it with clear nail polish and then put <laughs> it back in the shower, it won't lather. So they'll be in there trying to, like, get the water to go and nothing will happen. I thought this was very clever. It's very clever. The next one we have is onions disguised as candy apples. This Imagine is pretty brutal. That's nasty. That's actually a good one for Halloween when the kids come around and you're going to give them some treats. It's actually an onion. Except I love onions, so I don't think <laughs> this is bad for me. And this one I thought is a Ken Carr kind of a, a joke. Say there's a, a pan of brownies. Oh my gosh. Brown Brownies. Ease. On the oh, counter. Oh gosh, that's uh, painful. But there, are, there is a teacher right now. This video is going viral. He did kind of a, a pre-April Fool's joke to his fourth grade class. Uh, they call him uh, Joey D, <laughs> and it's got over 8.9 million views. Take a look. The next word is spiku. Look, there's a spiku. S p e e k u z s l m n. There's silent letters at the end of that one. What? Yep. Speaku, S P E E K U Z S L M N. What? It's, yep. Chinese. It's not, nope, it's actually from a, somewhere else, not here. The next word, was a matter. Students said they were sick. I said, was a matter with you? W A Z A M A T A. Was a matter. The next word is ch ch ch. The horse was angry, so I said ch ch ch. That's C H C H C H. Nice, nice work. The next word is grr. My friend told me a secret. I looked at her and said, grr. That's G U with an umlau. That's two dots over the U. R R R. G U with an umlau. R R R. Your next word, number 11, is April Fools because this is an April Fools joke. <laughs> 
Oh, man. My favorite part is all the kids saying, oh, what do you mean? <laughs> it was a fake spelling test. Yeah. And my favorite out of all those words was grr. <laughs> so sassy. I like it had that, the umlaus and <laughs> silent letters. Uh, but I thought that was really cool. It's over 8.9 million views when I checked this morning. He's doing well. Uh, but I thought that was a great. I feel uh, like I would get along with prank. him because he seems kind of like a geek like me.